and keep me grounded grinding just like i'm skating so i'll be staying focused the game is up Hello everyone, it is CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another Unity Idol Game tutorial video. This is episode 6.2, and today we're going to be working on our smooth progress bars. Anyways, I am back with a green screen, so I've kind of upgraded our little setup a bit. And we're doing this all in a college dorm, so it's working great. If you end up enjoying this video, make sure you leave a like as it really helps out the video for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this content and you want to see more. And turn on the bell if you want to get notified for whenever I upload videos. Also, just so you know, we are approaching 5,000 subscribers soon, so be sure to stay tuned for the 5,000 subscribers special. Anyways, we've got that long, crappy intro out of the way. Let's get started with the actual video. Alright, so if you don't know what a smooth progress bar is, it's basically um, just a little fancy thing I kind of just came up with. I'm not sure if there's like an actual term for it, but basically you have a double progress bar here. So in this example, we are inside of our click upgrade prefab. We have our progress bar that we have implemented two videos ago, and we have another fill. So this is going to be the smooth one. I have changed the white one, which was originally just the normal progress bar fill, to smooth. And then we have our um, kind of grayed out one in the background, and this is our actual progress bar. So basically what's going to happen is that this will fill up as normal, and this one will kind of trail behind it as it depends on how fast it's filling up. So the faster it is, the kind of further back it'll be. It will give a little smooth effect, which is really satisfying to watch. So this video is completely optional, but if you want to implement this to make your game look a little more uh, pleasing to look at, this video is for you. Okay guys, so I want to show you an example of the smooth progress bar in action in my game Idle Research. So we can see two or three examples here. We have our research bar at the top, we have a fill here, and we have one at this flask. So in this example right here, you can see how it's going down. Um, when it resets, it goes down very uh, smoothly, right? So that white, if you can see that, that white part of the progress bar is the actual fill. And then the green is the smooth. So as you can see, it goes down um, it goes down quickly, but it's smooth, right? It's the same thing with the this right here, with the flask. You can see how it just resets very smoothly, and it looks nice. So this is what we're going to be implementing today. So the first thing we need to do is head to our upgrade script. Okay, so currently in this script, we have one image. We're going to add a second one, and this will be our fill smooth. Let's head back to Unity. All right, so in the bottom here, uh, right here, You'll see fill smooth. We're going to drag our fill smooth into here and we're going to replace this fill. Let me move my big old head right there. We're going to replace this one right here with our normal fill. So I will show you this step on a generator upgrade or just another prefab. And we want to make sure you do this for all of the upgrade types. So, so far we've done it for click. Let's go on to generator and I'll show you how I've done this. Okay, so this one looks a little funny because the prefab kind of screwed up, but basically right now this is our normal fill, right? This is going to become our smooth, so we're just going to rename that to smooth, and then we're going to copy and paste this image, just rename it to progress bar fill, and just give it a little uh, kind of a gray color. And we want to set this below the smooth, so I want to place that on above it in the hierarchy, and you'll see it looks something like this. And you want to do this for all upgrade types. And again, you want to assign the fill and then assign the smooth like that. And I just realized that I accidentally messed up the hierarchy here, but make sure that fill is above smooth like this. All right, so we're going to be making a fill smooth method inside of our method script. And this is basically going to determine how we are going to calculate the smooth progress bar because it's kind of an approximation. We're going to be adding and subtracting onto it based on what our actual value is. And we're going to multiply that by a speed so we can make it um, move faster or slower. All right, so this will be a public static void method, and we're going to call it fill smooth. It's going to take into double, so we need to have a reference to this one because this will be our smooth value, and we're going to be changing this, so we need to take a reference of it. And, and for our second parameter, it's going to be double actual value, so this will be our actual fill. And we need to take a reference of this as well because we're going to be doing some modif a little modifications to this value. And also, we want to change the speed. So you can. This is optional if you want to implement this or not. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do it anyways. But this will be a float speed value, and I'm gonna make this a default parameter. I'm gonna set it to ten. This is the speed I use for idle research. All right. So there's gonna be 
two different things we're going to be doing. We're going to be either subtracting the smooth value or adding onto it. We subtract when the actual value is less than smooth and when the smooth is greater than actual, we're going to add to it. So we're going to be checking for a few things. Uh, for one, if the smooth value is greater than the actual value, we're going to subtract it because we want to go towards the actual uh, value of the fill. And again, when I say actual value, I'm talking about the progress bar, like the actual value of the progress bar. And smooth is just a value we're going to adjust based on actual value. And so if our smooth value is less than actual value, it needs to catch up and it's going to, we're going to add to it as it catches up to the actual value. So let's just do this for an example. So let's just have no if statements whatsoever. Let's just, let's just write some stuff down. So for our smooth value, we're going to add on to it for an example, right? We're going to, uh, add on to it based on the gap between the smooth and actual value. So we're going to subtract our smooth value by our actual value. And basically what we're doing here is we are adding on to smooth value, whatever the gap between smooth and actual is. Now this is where speed comes into place. So if we were to divide this number by let's say a hundred, it's going to be a lot slower because we are dividing the gap by a hundred. So therefore it's going to um, increase a lot less, if that makes sense. Well, if we divide by two, the smooth progress bar is going to catch up much faster because our gap um, divided by two, we're basically, let's just go to paint, for example. All right, so let's say this is our progress bar. So this is the smooth right here. This is the smooth, the dark green, and this is the actual. So it's just going to be A. All right, so the gap is going to be right here. This is going to be the gap. And this is actual minus smooth. I accidentally messed up the math in the script, by the way, so I'll fix that. But this is um, A minus smooth, okay? And basically, when we add um, to smooth, when we're doing plus equals, we're adding this gap. What adding this gap to smooth is doing is basically moving the smooth all the way back to here. So we're basically just setting smooth to A. So if we were to have no division here, Smooth is always going to be um, right here at actual. However, if we want to have that smooth effect, that's where we divide. If we were to divide by 10, then we're going to take this gap, divide by 10, and that's probably going to be something like around here, a little less probably. We're going to be incrementing a lot less, and we're going to have that smooth effect. So the higher this number is, the more behind this will be from the actual mark right here, and the slower it's going to be. However, the, the lower this number is, the more um, precise it's going to be and the less smooth it's going to be. It's going to be as close to this actual as possible. I hope that makes sense. Just know that if you want a smoother effect, bump up this number. If you want a less smoother experience, then reduce this number. Okay, so back to the script. And again, I want to subtract the actual value by smooth. And we're going to divide this by our speed, which has a default parameter of 10. So if we call this method and don't throw in any speed arguments, we're going to have a speed of 10. So we're going to be dividing all this by 10. And we want to add, this is going to divide it even more because, um, um, because this is going to go really fast. However, if we want to add this value per second, we're going to do time dot delta time and this will make it look a lot better. All right. So now if we were subtracting, we're going to do this exact same thing, except the only difference is that we're going to be subtracting the smooth by the actual value. And the reason why is because when we are subtracting and I close paint, we're basically going the opposite direction. So we want to calculate the gap by calculating how far ahead is smooth than actual. So smooth is going to be greater than actual and we want a positive value and we're going to subtract it by this. So now we need to actually check for this kind of stuff. So for the adding, we're going to check to see if our actual value is greater than our smooth value. And we want to check if it's equal as well, just because uh, we want the smooth value to go to actual. Otherwise, we're going to check to see if the smooth value is less than actual value. All right, so we're just going to leave it at this for now. Um, we're most likely going to have to come back to this because, because I've optimized it a bit. All right, so in order to actually use this fill smooth, we're going to head to our upgrades manager. And what we're going to do is head to our upgrade fill manager. It's our local method under update. And we're going to do stuff related to our fill. So let's adjust this smooth fill. So our fill smooth is going to be equal to methods.fill. 
and we are going to take in a value. This will be our soon to be smooth and our upgrade cost. So this is the exact same as the actual fill except we're going to be using um, another variable which we will create in a second and don't forget the dot fill variable so we are calling so we are changing the fill amount of this image fill smooth so let's create this smooth variable let's go back to our upgrade script and i'm going to create a float called smooth value and now let's go all the way back to upgrades manager and we're going to change our smooth here to to upgrade handlers at index index dot upgrades at index i dot smooth value so this is the variable we just created now we actually need to set this variable because it's not going to do anything this is just going to be um, a zero because smooth value is zero so to do that we're going to call methods dot fill smooth and we're going to pass in a reference to our smooth value and a reference to our actual value and this will be this fill amount also my mistake but this smooth value actually needs to be a double because we're passing as a reference so we can't cast it so make sure the smooth value is a double all right so we have another issue we're trying to pass in a float as a reference but it must be a double so let's just head back to our methods and change this actual value to a float and also another issue is that I forgot we cannot pass in an object variable as a reference. So we got to get rid of this ref term for the float and go do the same thing in our upgrade in our method script. So get rid of that ref for the actual value and we should be safe. All right, so let's give it a try. And as you can see, it is not working properly. So that is not a good sign. All right, so I've got it working. I've made a few mistakes, but let's just uh, show you an action first before I actually fix it see how it looks nice beautiful so it works and let's I'm gonna show you before we actually get to the solution I'm gonna show you what happens when you adjust the speed so right now it's at 10 it's pretty uh, fast but let's just go to here and actually let me get rid of some of this stuff I was just kind of just uh, playing around let's see Okay, so I forgot to mention I added the plus zero one because it's really, really slow <laughs> if we were to use the normal time dot delta time. So I multiplied this by 0.1 or just divide the delta time by 10 and that made it much faster. So let's change the speed. Let's make this 100. I'll show you what this looks like. All right, so you can see it's much smoother, right? So let's just buy something. You can see it's much smoother when it's at 100. So you may like it, you may not. But you can see previously it was 10. It was much more sensitive. And these are much slower, but it's a lot smoother. Cool. So they all seem to work. Perfect. Let me show you what I did wrong. So this is what the final code looks like. If we want to just leave it like that. This is what it looks like. It looks just fine. However, if we were to head to our upgrade manager, what I was doing wrong is I was actually using the fill method and throwing in the smooth value and divide, and that divides it by the upgrade cost. So that's obviously not going to work. And I just completely forgot that our smooth value is basically um, it's going to be around the fill amount. So we don't even need to use this fill method here. So basically, I just set this fill amount to the smooth value and I cast it as a float. So it looks like that. So here's all this code here. And let me show you the upgrades real quick. So this is what we have here and our methods. This is our fill smooth method. Anyways, guys, this is it for this video. If you enjoyed it and if it was helpful, make sure you leave a like as it really helps out the videos and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Turn on the bell if you want to be notified for future videos and live streams. Check the Patreon down below if you really want to support my channel and if you want to become a beta tester. And all right, so I will see you guys in episode 7.0, which will be by Max. So we're finally starting to get some more quality of life in, and that should be an interesting video. So I'll see you guys there. Thank you very much, and I hope you all have a great day or night. Peace. See, I be up in class, but my mind is in the clouds, though. Know the teacher's mad, cause my music beatin' loud, ho. Tell me keep it down, say I kill it on the down low. And if I turn it up, then I'm bound to attract the crowd. So no wonder me and Tim be out of state, doing things you can't imagine. Chris Angel on the mic, give me a beat, I'll show you magic. We born in different places.